Okay, so it is December um, 23rd, 2009. We have Kaylee Bays. Okay, so Kaylee, uh, would you please uh, cross your arms over your chest? Come on in, Dr. Matt. Hey guys, yeah. sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your shot. That's all right. <laughs> uh, and go ahead and start marching in place with your eyes open. Okay, and now close your eyes. Keep going. That's actually the best she's ever done. Well, that's really I good. Have, well, I'll show you some previous photos. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we see the internal rotation there on the mm -hmm. left side, which is interesting. All right. Okay, so watch the center here, all right? Okay. And first, just watch it come close. There, and watch convergence again. Yeah. Okay, right there. All right, and now wa just watch this. So that way, and then towards the right. Oh wow, it's already started to decrease. I wish I'd filmed it earlier. Don't tell you didn't <laughs> film the. <laughs> but there's a little. The, there is a definitely a lot less. Yes, yeah, a lot less. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now uh, keep filming. Now we're gonna do squats here. So head straight again, and then look at this thumb, and this one. Oh my God. This one. <laughs> I should have done this the is at least fifty percent improvement from. Hold. No, it's it's like oh, I'm killing myself that I didn't do the the yes, pre because it's like a hundred percent improvement right now. <laughs> <laughs> so the second time post uh, saccade training for the right cell cerebellum. So well, let's just use the tune for again. So you're looking right here in the center. Okay, and then from here, and here, and here, and here. Wow. Now let's just retest the Fukata test. So, so this is post neurological stimulation of the right cerebellum. Go ahead and with your eyes open start marching in place. And keep it that high, yeah, just like that. And close your eyes. Wow. Barely internally rotating. And we should do the same thing again with the shoe lift off. Now as she goes longer, it starts to deviate a little bit, though. Okay, good. All right, good. So we're going to do 12 of these. I want Go you ahead. To inhale. Okay. Eyes open first, and then eyes closed. Eyes open first. Go ahead. 12 of those. And tempo it with your breathing, okay? So as long as it takes you to inhale, all right. it's as slow as it takes to open. Keep that. Yeah. I'll back. All right. And go ahead back to the start, and let's do it. David just got rid of And then... Eyes closed, go ahead. I didn't move that time. Yeah, it's all right. There is a much better one. All right. Awesome. Great. Very nice. <laughs> Come on in. Now we're going to do the Fakata test again with the lift of the shoes off. We could see the difference in the shoe lift size there. All right. So go ahead again. Cross your arms. Eyes open. Start marching in place. All right, and eyes closed. So now we could see the deviation. Well, in the still in, no internal rotation. Yeah, not not much internal rotation. This is twenty, it's like seventy five percent, ninety percent better. Really? Than she's ever done. Awesome. Okay, so now when we look at the brain, Kaylee, we've got different parts of it. We have um, parts that sit down here in the back, and that's called your cerebellum. Okay, and remember when I had your arm up like this and I said resist as I push down, hold. Yep. That's a cerebellar response. When you resist, hold, it sends a signal which tells your body to make this muscle strong. Okay. Now, on top of that, there's this little tent and a divider, and there's two halves on each side. You know, you have one side, the brain controls one side of the body, and the opposite. And this is called your cerebral cortex. And that's the part that we were testing when I said hold your arm up and bite down and push up into my hand and there's nothing there. Now relax your jaw and push up into my hand real hard. And it's nice and strong there. That's because where the compression is affecting frontal cerebral cortex, you have lack of initiation of motor movement when you bite down. That's that cranial dental compression that we're gonna evaluate with the iCat and have the dentist look at. So what we were just stimulating was the right part of your cerebellum. That's the reactionary force. And we did that by stimulating your eyes when you turn your head. And that helped to balance you out when you're walking. 
Now, don't go doing that exercise all the time yet until we see the changes, okay? <laughs> and then we'll figure out how often, if necessary, we need to do that. All right?